Today we present Dana Telchow. He was sent to us after somebody saw a video podcast that he did with 97.5 radio station up in Michigan. They have a program they call May We Thank You, where they interview veterans and thank them for their service and such. The only problem with that is they interviewed Dana as a former Green Beret, which is bogus. He never spent one day in Special Forces. In fact, he wasn't even airborne. Yet in the interview, he said he got medically discharged because he had one too many parachute jumps and could no longer run across the battlefield, which is all bogus. So we reached out to the radio station and they didn't seem interested in addressing the issue because Dana was one of their sponsors. So we called Dana ourselves and the first time he hung up on us and didn't want to deal with it. So we sent him a link to our website and some other data. And I guess what we sent him made him think that talking to us was probably a good idea because the next day we called him and got his full admission over the phone. So what follows will be a clipping that he did with 97.5 Immediately following that will be our phone dialogue and his confession. After you listen to that, you could go to our website, guardiansofthegreenbray.com, and see his records. Another quick note, any use of 97.5's video falls under multiple aspects of the fair use doctrine. You could go to their website or YouTube channel and see the interview in its entirety unless they've since deleted it. Oh, uh, first of all, where'd you serve? What uh, what branch of the military? Uh, I was in the Army, uh, Special Forces, um, with the 5th Group out of Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Um, served from uh, 82 to 94. So you have a few years in there um, under your belt. Did you? What was your role when you served? Well, um, I was. A, I mean, I was a soldier. I, I, I did a lot of things. Uh, uh, Army Special Forces is a little bit different than than the, the regular Army, I guess. Uh, in we did real world, world missions. I served in a few different uh, conflicts. Uh, of course, it was in Desert Storm. That was my last um, combat duty. Um, um, I didn't uh, have a big, you know, history of you know family being in the military. Uh, there were family that were in the military, but my uh, I don't know. From the time I was a kid, uh, the only thing I ever wanted to do was be a soldier, um, serve the country, and, and fight for what I thought was right. I, I was medically retired after 13 and a half years. Um, I had uh, one too many parachute jumps, I guess, it's, as you would say. Uh, the last one was not uh, was not a good one. So um, couldn't run across the battlefield anymore, couldn't run at all. Um, and so uh, it ended my career. So was there ever an opportunity for you to transition into a different role? Without getting into too much... Uh, <laughs> on the other side, once you're high speed, low drag, you, you really can't go back, um, according to the military. So, um, I had special training that, that just didn't, uh, fit with, uh, sitting behind a desk, I guess. Sure. I, I so, couldn't do what I was trained to do anymore. So that's, you know, you kind of get to the point where you regress a little bit, um, uh, into your into your own life and family. Have any of your kids joined up with the military? Did they bring it up to you? What uh, was that conversation like? Uh, there was times that they brought it up, um, but uh, none of them decided. I had five boys, so uh, none of them decided that uh, that was the thing that they wanted to do. So, and sure. and quite honestly, I sometimes I feel like I sacrificed enough that they didn't need to. Ultimately, we fought for freedom and we fought for the right to choose to do certain things that were given to us, rights were given to us. And, and quite honestly, 
um, with today's political atmosphere, uh, I, I don't believe that I want my children serving. I don't talk a lot about what, what I did, and a lot of it um, you don't want to know. Um, but uh, you know, you put all you put. <laughs> You put purple hearts and, and bronze stars on on your soldiers. Well, that's not what they want. They don't they don't do it for that reason. They do it for you know. In, at least in my case, I can't talk for all soldiers, but in my case, I did it because I believed that was what was right. Now, what follows is the phone calls we had with him, where he first hangs up on us, then he thinks better of it and admits his lies. He said it was pretty much an isolated incident, which is yet another lie. We talked to somebody that has known him for years, and that guy said he has heard him claim to be special forces many times over the years. So consider following our YouTube channel and go to our website and check out all the other fakes, frauds, and phonies we've exposed over the years. Thanks. Hello? Hey, Dana. Yeah. Hey, we're about ready to do an article on you, and we we're wanting to uh, ask you a couple of questions before we posted it on our website. Who is this? Guardiansofthegreenberry.com. We saw an interview you did with 97.5, and we're going to do our own article on you. No. No. Think so. Yeah, we are. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, I think you hung up on me. No, I don't. I don't. I, I don't want any. No. Well, Thank let you. let me explain what we got going on. You could search our website, guardiansofthegreenberry.com, where we actually expose frauds, and we have your military records where you were you were a thirty one victor, and the first time you were in, you actually went AWOL, but. We have your records, we have the audio of you claiming to be a Green Beret in 5th Group, and you and I both know that's a lie. You served from June to July of 82, you served from June until November of 85, then you served from December until May of 94. What you just heard was actually two phone calls where he hung up on us, both times, so we sent him a link to our website among other things, and then let him think about it for the evening and tried him back the next day. And I guess he decided to talk to us. So what follows is his phone confession. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all the other fakes, frauds, and phonies at guardiansofthegreenbrake.com. Thanks. Hey, Dana, you feel like talking now? It's Guardians of the Green Bray. Yeah. What's the idea? I have your records in my hand. I could send them to you. You went AWOL the first time you were in the service. And then I went back in. I, yeah. I had some issues. Yeah. Anyways. But the second time you went in, you were not even airborne. You were a 31 victor. In that interview, you said you had one too many parachute jumps and couldn't run across the battlefield. That's all a lie. Yeah, dude, I fucked up, okay? I apologize. I uh, won't do it again, and I, I don't know what I can tell you. Well, I, I was I sponsored that program for that, and I, I made a comment that I probably shouldn't have made. Well, you made a whole interview you shouldn't have made, not a comment, a whole interview. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, we, You're we, correct. Yeah. How about you reaching out to them and asking them to remove that video? Because the guy that interviewed you, he, I asked him if he would circle back around and ask you about your lies. They're not discrepancies or misquotes or anything. And he wasn't interested because he said you're one of his sponsors. And I was. it sounds like he'd rather take money than, you know, address the issue of you lying. I mean, I see you were, you... Okay, dude. All right, listen. Yeah. I understand I, I did something wrong. Okay, I said something wrong. I understand that. Okay. But I don't need to be harassed anymore, okay? 
All right. I'll I'll stop uh, doing it. I won't do it anymore. Please stop harassing me. Well, this wasn't meant to harass in, in any way, shape, or form. We're correcting a lie. We don't take it lightly when somebody claims to be one of us. So I would ask that that guy remove that video. I'll reach back out to him a second time. So, but we'll we'll go ahead with our YouTube channel and our website. And I appreciate your apology, and we'll include that in the article.